All right, so this is my bar. We built this, a buddy of mine built this for me when we first moved into our house about 10 years ago, and I thought, oh, this will be awesome. We'll have people over all the time. And then, as you can see, we had children, and now our whole basement belongs to them. So those days aren't there, but I uh, just thought I'd show you around. I do like to collect shot glasses, as I said, and I thought we'd take a look at just a few of them here, just some things I've collected over the years. Why do I collect shot glasses? I, I don't know. I don't use any of them. Uh, when I drink hard liquor from time to time, it's in a big glass mixed with Coke or something. But uh, I just I just have had this fascination with shot glasses, and I think some of them are really cool. So I got a, a, one of many Colts um, uh, shot glasses. Most of these I've bought myself. There are a couple here that uh, people have bought for me. The Hard Rock Cafe, Washington, D.C. here. Uh, I believe my sister got that one for me. Uh, most people don't uh, don't usually go to Holiday World to get shot glasses. I do. Uh, what is that one? Kennedy Space Center. I did not buy that one. Somebody got that for me. I believe an ant, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see what else we got here. More Colt stuff. I'm a fan. You can see a Simpsons. There are multiple of these. I had like a four set, uh, or four piece set. There's more of them around here somewhere, but we'll get to them here in a minute. Um, some limited edition Bud Light Tennessee bottles that I got from a, a good friend of the family who lives in Knoxville. Sun Studio, that is a recording studio uh, down in Memphis, Tennessee, where Elvis and Roy Orbison and a whole bunch of big name people uh, recorded some of their first albums. We took a tour down there during a St. Jude uh, radio uh, seminar a couple of years back. Very, very cool place. You wouldn't think it was much from the outside. Really small. Just kind of sits in the middle of town, but, but inside it's really, really neat. Uh, Philadelphia, my wife went there once uh, and picked that up for me. Some IU stuff. Uh, and what have you again let's see where's this one I don't even know where this is from Cancun Mexico not been there aunt and uncle went got that one for me All right, a few others over here more Simpsons more Colts the Kentucky Railway Museum in New Haven Kentucky did I buy that one I think I did I think the station did something over there one year around the holidays this one my kids made for me at Fired Up that says Daddy. Yes, it says Daddy. Another hard rock. That one I did buy from St. Louis. I did buy that one. Uh, we got a Myrtle Beach with my name on it. Uh, I don't think I bought that one. Maybe I did. I don't remember. Jack Daniels. Uh, some that I've collected over the years from the station, like this plastic Lucky Lady News for You double shot. Where's the one? Um, where's that? What's that one? Oh, Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. I went, uh, saw a Bengals game there once. Bristol Motor Speedway. My in-laws are big race fans and, uh, brought that back for me one time. Uh, here we go. I bought this one, I think, off eBay. That is, uh, the best band ever, in my opinion. And I just thought that was the coolest thing. I don't remember what I paid for it. Not important. I may have taken a shot or two of Jägermeister out of that, but that is about it. That's another entertaining one there. Fitz's in St. Louis is like a restaurant. They make their own sodas, uh, if you're familiar with that. That was a gift. Uh, Hard Rock Vault, a buddy of mine that lived in Orlando at the time, got that for me. What else? More cult stuff. Jamaica. I have been to Jamaica. That's where I went on my honeymoon, but I don't remember if I bought that or not. Um, and then, of course, uh, Star Wars. I don't remember where I got this one. Where did I get that one? Oh, Disney. That was from Disney World. That's right, from last year. Bourbon Street did go to New Orleans uh, not too long ago, uh, back when the station had an ESPN radio affiliate, when our group of stations had that, we had those made. Lucky Lady, again. And then, uh, back in my days, when I was on GBF, JT Bailey's, that's uh, one of the many incarnations of Marina Point these days. So that's really about it. As you can see, some beer bottles too, most of these beer bottles came from Gerst House, even that can, when it first opened up, a buddy of mine and I would go down there pretty regularly and just try different beers and uh, talk the waitress into letting us bring most of them uh, home once they were empty, so they let us, but that's my bar.